All right, what's going on, YouTube? This is Boxer Wave, and we're here to talk about Canelo Alvarez against John Ryder. All right, this fight is going to be on Cinco de Mayo weekend, uh, May 6th, and it's going to be on the Zone pay per view. And this is going to be like a, a mini breakdown. You know, I'm not going to give you a full breakdown. I'll do that after I do some film study and stuff. But just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on this fight, my early thoughts on this fight that they just had. Uh, a press conference out in Mexico. The fight's going to be in Mexico. And they had a second press conference in San Diego, in California, I think. Right Now, I watched that entire press conference uh, because most of it was in English. Most of it was in English. So I, I checked out the whole thing. The, uh, the Mexico press conference, I just saw bits and pieces of it in the face-off. So, look. John Ryder, he is the mandatory, I believe, for the WBO. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know, we know that Canelo Alvarez is undisputed. So he has all four major titles at 168, right? So John Ryder is one of his mandatories, right? He won that mandatory position when he beat Zach Parker, right? In his very last fight. And our whole situation was messy because Demetrius Andre was supposed to fight Zach Parker for that mandatory spot. But Demetrius Andre pulled out of the fight because, um, you know, financial reasons. Let me say that. All right. So anyway, um, let's talk about this fight, man. And my view on this fight. Now, am I excited for this fight? No, absolutely not. You know, I'm not excited for the fight. I guess I'm happy to see Canelo get back in the ring. But it's not a bad fight. It's not a bad fight because John Ryder is a good fighter. He's coming off some good wins. I personally don't think he beat Danny Jacobs. I still think Danny beat him on the scorecards because he won more rounds to me. But I do think that John Ryder edged out Callum Smith. You know, now I'm gonna go back at some point and do my film study and go back and check out the fight. Um, just to make sure. All right, but John Ryder, he's solid, and I think the fight is gonna be better than what people are expecting stylistically. Because John Ryder, Southpaw fighter, has more of an inside game, mid mid range inside type of fighter, not a long range fighter. He's actually roughly around the same height as Canelo. He's barely taller, taller. He's barely has a longer reach, but he's not gonna be fighting like the majority of the fighters that we've seen Canelo fight recently. Okay. Canelo is fighting guys that are usually taller and longer and try to work behind the jag, staying on the outside, you know, controlling distance. They try to do a lot of, you know, the whole being rangy thing, and it never really works. Canelo usually walks him down and beats him up. He didn't work against Dimitri Bivol, but Dimitri Bivol is a whole different caliber of fighter. All right. Um, so... What I mean by the fight being good is that stylistically, it should be a good fight because the way that John Ryder fights, he's going to be in a position to bang with Canelo. Right? He's going to jab his way in. He's going to be throwing hooks and he's going to be looking to exit. I don't think he's going to sit all in a pocket with Canelo, but he's going to be in a position where they're going to be trading hooks. And I think that's what makes it fun. All right. And if you really think about it, you know, because this is another short, stocky guy like him. If you really think about it, Canelo hasn't fought anyone like this in a while, you know, that you can really compare. And I, I did go down his resume and I was just going back to all these fights. And, I, you know, I'm thinking of, you know, maybe a little bit of Miguel Cotto where Miguel Cotto moved around and used a lot of lateral movement, you know, definitely worked behind his jab. But. There were points where he would step in and throw his combinations. So I expect John to do that. Um, same thing with um, Liam Smith. You know, Liam Smith will work the jab and then he'll come in. He likes to sit on in a pocket. That's his thing. That's how he likes to fight. Obviously, it, it wasn't enough, you know, because he got stopped. Canelo's way better at that. But Liam Smith is another fighter that I can compare. You know, both of those are orthodox fighters. It's the only other southpaw that fights... Eh, not as good in my opinion, but is a lot more relentless is uh, James Kirkland, a southpaw fighter that is a, it, it's a ruthless inside fighter. Not much of a technician at all, but 
I can't really compare any of these fighters that Canelo has fought lately against John Ryder and his style. You know, I mean, obviously Triple G was there, was there to bang with Canelo for 12 rounds, you know, but, you know, Triple G is different. You know, Triple G on a technical level, you know, he can beat you up or he can just outbox you. You know, he has one of the best jabs in boxing. So that's a different type of fight. So the the reason why I think this fight is a good fight is because we know that John ain't really going nowhere. You know, and we know that he'll be there to fight with Canelo. I mean, he has nothing else. You know, he's not going to be trying to stay out of range. He's not going to be taking that kind of approach. So that's what I like about the fight. But outside of that, I think Canelo's going to win. You know, I just think that Canelo, bigger puncher, you know, just, just, just everything he does is better. You know, I like John Ryder can do a lot of things that Canelo can do. But Canelo's is better at it, you know, and he has the better experience. He has the better wins, you know, against top tier fighters. You know, I think if this this fight actually happened like maybe five, six years ago, then it would be even more competitive. And I would actually bet it would go to a, a decision win for Canelo, but it'll be a tougher fight for Canelo. But right now, um, Canelo's just too good. And he's been here before plenty of times. You know, and I think John Ryan is good. He's solid. And I think he would be a tough fight for anyone at 168. Um, you know, he has five losses on his resume. All right. But he's only been stopped once. And I think that's the only time he's ever been down, you know. Um, but he's a tough fighter. He's durable. Um, he's pretty quick. You know, he has good hand speed. He has, he has respectable power. And he comes in there to fight. You know, I'm not a disappointed in the fight. Obviously, and I say this about every single other, everybody, all the guys that we complain about. Of course, there's always going to be fights that I want more than this. I've always wanted Demetrius Andre more than this. I always wanted David Benavides. I have to keep repeating myself because I'm not hating, but I'm not, like, I understand the game. All right. Every other fighter that I love, I wanted them to fight someone they didn't fight in their career. You know, when they both were in their primes. You know, it just works out, doesn't work that way. All right, Benavides is tied up with Plant right now. I know everyone is saying Benavides, Benavides, Benavides. Well, Benavides got to get through Plant. He has to. All right, let's just even, let's just see if he's all about the hype that we thought he is. I think he is. I believe Plant, I mean, I'm sorry, Benavides is legit. But we have to see it. Just believing it is not enough. Let him have his fight with Plant. Prove all the naysayers. And then we'll talk about the fight. But will it happen next? Most likely it won't. Because Canelo, won his, he wants his rematch with Bivol. He wants his rematch with Bivol. And not for nothing, Bivol is the more difficult fight. You know, we can sit here and debate whether or not Ryder is the more difficult fight with, with, than Benavides. I don't think he is. But you can at least debate that. He wants a rematch with Bevel. So I'm not expecting Benavides to be next. But if he's going to stick around at 168, I expect Benavides to be a future opponent for him if he gets through Plant. If he gets through Plant. But what if Plant goes in there and outboxes him and schools him for 12 rounds? All this time, we thought that Plant was ducking Benavides and Plant outboxes him or even hurts him or drops him or knocks him out. Something crazy. Then what? You attack this guy all this time for ducking someone that he didn't really need to duck. I think Benavides is... I'm edging. I'm leaning to him. I ain't doing no film study yet. I got to do that. I, I'm doing that this weekend with Benavides and Plant. But um, I really don't have no problem with the fight. You know, as far as it being a pay-per-view, is it a pay-per-view? No. Is it pay-per-view worthy? No. You know, now if I'm covering it live, of course I'm going to pay for the pay-per-view. I'm going to have to because they give me a service. I'm paying for it to give you guys a service to go do live commentary. So, yes. But do I think it's a pay-per-view worthy? 
fight? No, but I understand the game. At this point, certain fighters are going to have pay-per-view fights, whether they're quality fights or not. And I'm not saying this fight ain't quality. It ain't pay-per-view, though. Certain fighters are going to always be involved in a pay-per-view. And Canelo is one of them. He's going to always have a pay-per-view. All right? Tank has pay-per-view. Spence have pay-per-view. I don't feel like all of these fights they have are pay-per-view worthy fights. Crawford, too. I love Crawford. But pay-per-views, pay-per-views are crazy. They go on pay-per-view crazy at this point. You know, so it's going to be a pay-per-view. And it should be a good fight. I think the fight is going to be better than what people think it's going to be as far as entertainment. I think it's going to be competitive, but I'm expecting Canelo to win, you know. Um, key things, though, for John Ryder, um, I guess, you know, he has a tight guard and he's very durable, so, you know, let Canelo punch himself out. If he could survive that, you know, finish the second round of the fight, second half of the fight strong. We've seen Canelo burn out plenty of times, you know, from Angulo to Triple G1 to even Triple G3 now, you know. What was that? Canelo just gave up the last four rounds, all right? It was dominating him all the way to the last four. Then Triple G, Triple G took over. I mean, it was too little too late, but... Canelo still has stamina issues. He's still having them. He looked a little gassed too against Bevo. You know, Canelo has a lot of power and he has a lot of firepower, you know, when he's in control. But once he starts to slow down and he can't get you out of there and you don't have the power to keep him off of you, you know, fights become a little difficult for him. So if, plus he's coming off an injury. You know, I believe he had a sprain right or wrist or or something with his hand. I don't know if it was fractured. I know he had some kind of injury for for a few fights. I think he said since the plant fight. So you never know. You know, and listen, I've read a few comments of people thinking that Canelo is past it. You know, even even though, you know, he lost to Bevo and, 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 you know, he had a tough time to a Triple G, but he still picked up the win. Some people are already having that talk on whether or not he's still in his prime. You know, ever since the plant fight, there are people out there. I've, I've heard it more than enough now that people believe that. And even though Canelo is not old in age, he's old as far as pro fighting years because he's been a pro since 15. So I've heard that multiple times. So, you know, you never know if John Ryder shows up at his very best and is if he's able to withstand the onslaught of Canelo in the first half of this fight and and is able to finish off strong, you never know. You know, again, we watched Canelo for years. And Canelo's biggest issue is that he has stamina issues. If this stamina problem shows up in this fight, it could be a problem. Plus, when's the last time Canelo fought in Mexico? I mean, I don't know. I'm just throwing ideas out there because these are points that people are going to bring up anyway. But when's the last time Canelo fought in Mexico? He hasn't fought in Mexico since 2011 against Kermit Cintron. Okay. Um, maybe there's a little pressure there. You know, he's fought in America all these years. All right. Fought Kermit Cintron there. Uh, for, yeah, and he had a few fights before there. A lot of fights in Mexico before that. All right. But it's been a long time. It's been 13 years since his last fight in Mexico. You know, you never know. Never know. Going back home and fighting might be a little bit a pressure there to perform. You know, coming off a couple of performances where you were criticized. You know, maybe you might try to underestimate your opponent. You know, I know he's saying that he's not. In his uh, interviews and at the presser, but you just really never know. All right. Well, what would I like to see? I would love to see at some point. I would love to see the Benavides fight if he is to beat Plant. Um, I still would love to see Demetrius Andre fight. I know you guys are gonna say Demetrius Andre hasn't fought shit. He has a crap resume. I want to see the fight. I want to see the fight. 
I do not want to see the Jamal Charlo fight until I see him actively fighting again. Okay, so I'm not bringing him up no more because I don't know where Jamal is mentally and physically. All right, I just don't know what's going on with him. All right, I hope he's doing well. I hope he's doing okay. Um, and that's pretty much it. You know, B will rematch again. I don't. I saw the first fight. I don't think it was close. Okay. I don't think you can really give Canelo any more than three rounds. But I do think that Canelo can do better. All right. But maybe Dimitri Bivol can do better. You know, we always talk about the fighter that lost to do better. You know, I heard the interview saying Mike Tyson, where was the jab? What was the jab in the fight? He's right. Where was the jab? Where was the jab in that fight? I seen Zerto fight. Zerto lost even more. I think Zerto, I gave only one or two rounds. But at least Zerto had the jab in that fight. At least he landed. Canelo, I felt like Canelo could have used the jab more in that fight. All right? But I think Bevo wins in a rematch. And that's probably why I'm not as excited. But it's a good fight. I mean, they're still both pound for pound fighters. So it's a good fight. But I would rather see Canelo fight better BF or uh, Benavidez or, you know, Andre. Something that we haven't seen yet. All right. Um, I heard uh, Oscar De La Hoya. And I spoke this on the, I spoke about this a little bit on the Wave Report. Oscar De La Hoya had some comments about him fighting just British fighters. He's not fighting better fighters. Again, it's like I said in another video. Come on, man. Zerto just came in overweight. He's not even fighting Gabe Rosado. You know, and why was he fighting Gabe Rosado in the first place? You know, who is Jaime Magia fought over the years? Who is he fighting? Why has he fought anyone that's relevant? You know? Um, you know, Virgil Ortiz Jr. Why did he skip out on the opportunity to fight Bud Crawford? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think, I know Oscar has an issue with Canelo because they used to be boys and they're not anymore. So he's going to say what he has to say. But, you know, it's hard to criticize Canelo because even though there's fights that I think he did duck at one at some points in his career, um, there's fighters that I do feel like I wish he wanted there. There was times where there was catch weights and stuff involved. But you know what? All of my favorites did the same thing. But at the end of the day, as far as like resume, he still has the best names. I mean, if you if you really look at it, if we really just look at his resume, I, that's not the guy I'm going to attack. I can't. I just can't do it, man. I'm not going to. I just can't. Gennady Golovkin three times. Bevo, Plant, Saunders. A lot of these guys got O's. Callum Smith, Kovalev, Jacobs. Like. Chavez Jr., Mir Khan, Liam Smith, Miguel Cotto, Arislan Lara. That was a fight that I thought he was ducking too. He took it. Golovkin, I thought he was ducking. He took it. Floyd Mayweather Jr., Austin Trout, Jose Cito Lopez, Shane Mosley. There's so many people. There's just so many people. You know, and I think some of those fights were closer, or I thought the judge did the other fighters dirty. You know, I mean. You guys gonna bring up the Mexican meat? You guys could do I mean it's cool, but what is everybody else doing? No one's doing shit. <laughs> no one's doing anything. So I'm not gonna go on in on uh Canelo. I can't. Because what is everybody else doing right now? Including the guys I just named. What is Benavides doing right now? He's just getting planted. What was he doing before that? All right. Getting stripped a couple times. Same thing with Andre. What is he doing? He got stripped. He vacated, moved up, and didn't even fight the guy that he was supposed to fight. You know, now some of it is not his fault, but a lot of it is. Just historically in his career. I'm not going to keep defending. I'm not going to keep dissing this guy and these guys are doing this. It just doesn't make sense. I can't. You know, get mad at me, unsubscribe to me, I don't care. All right? But anyway, that's my thoughts on the fight, man. I'll give you guys an official breakdown at some point. I got to get through these other fights that's coming before that, though. 
But I got you guys on a breakdown pretty soon. And um, but I do think Canelo's gonna win. Um, I'm expecting him to win and, and, and show up for the fight and, and give a good performance. Um, John Ryder is gonna give us a good fight, but I think his style. He's gonna have. He's gonna go at Canelo, and I think that could be a recipe for disaster, at some point. But it should be. It's gonna be good leading up to that. All right, so let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'm out. Peace.